Hi, it's uh, Joe here from Data Analytics Ireland. Welcome to our 84th video tutorial. Uh, we do weekly blog posts, video tutorials, and uh, live streams on anything and anything data analytics. Today, we're going to take you through how to fix type error. First argument must be callable. Take, take you through the logic, how to reduce the, reproduce the problem, and then how we can fix it. So let's hop over to the code and let's get straight into it. Right, uh, so uh, you're faced with this problem um, that's come up in your program. Um, see it here on the screen. See this type error? First uh, argument must be callable. So uh, today I'm going to take you through to reproduce the problem as I said and how to fix it. So I think um, it's important before we get into it just to very quickly explain actually what I'm doing here. I've created a class called Schedule Print, and what it's going to do is going to print something every couple of sec. Well, it's actually every one. I think it's every five seconds. Yeah, when I go into the code, I'll take you through it. And the whole idea is that it's these two lines here. Um, if you're familiar with classes, we're basically this is the class here, and then we create this variable here, or we're initiating this class. So we're basically saying run variable here is equal to schedule print this class, and then basically because you have run is equal to that, you're able to call methods within that class. So see this here, schedule print job. We'll show you that in a second. Is a within the schedule print. So let's go into the code now. Just wanted to take you through that first because if you're not familiar with classes, it might be something you um you might be something you need just explained. I do have um on the channel I've done a number of the video tutorials and classes. So if you look them up, um certainly you should be able to uh, find them there and give you a good understanding of what they're about, and how to use them. So let's go to the logic. So as I said, this problem has arisen here. Type error. The first argument must be callable. So what's going on? Right, so when we go down through this code, this class, first of all, we have a number of um, methods here, right? So what we're doing is uh, print progress, okay? And then we have scheduled a print job. So what the purpose, let me take you to the code, um, and then show you where the problem is, and then show you how to fix it. It's a very simple fix. So all this, this, this method here is doing is printing two things, start processing, um, start of, or processing complete two things. Now, actual fact, this piece of code could be useful if you want to put a timer on a piece of logic or something you're doing in processing you're doing, you can start and finish. And this is a way of doing it, um, but you obviously need a bit more tweaking to get it the way you want it. So that's that bit. And then the second thing is basically it's a print job, a schedule a print job here. Um, we're basically saying we've got a couple of types here. So the type is parameter. This is passed in here and then it's based on what values come in here. It basically does the processing on that. And the interval here is five seconds. So basically have an if statement here and basically says if type, which is this here, equals seconds, then run this here. So it's just basically this, um, actually I just should do this. I've imported schedule here and I've imported time here. And essentially what it's doing is basically see if time is seconds, schedule every interval dot seconds dot do and run this here, okay? And then basically if this was mins, it would do this, and it's the same, it's the same logic basically. And then the last bit here is while true is basically we run vending, schedule, and time sleep. So this bit here basically is the number of seconds the program should pause execution. So it's basically say pause execution every one second. So it basically runs it, pauses it for one second, and then reruns it again. Um, and this is the final thing we saw at the start uh, of these two here, that's basically, as I said, the class B, the run is equal to schedule print uh, with the class here and then we're initially initializing that and then we're basically allowing run to use the methods of that class which in this instance is this here right so what is the problem the problem here um with it is this okay the reason uh, you're getting this error here is you're calling print progress okay but print progress has two parentheses at the end of it and the reason that you're getting this error is you're calling a another method from within a method okay so in python when this happens it throws this error and you will not be able to proceed until you fix it and it makes logical sense so you're you're if you have in any program if you have this here it actually looks to run it straight away whereas when you what we do here to fix this which i'll show you now is if you remove that there, um, the two parentheses, now what it's doing is it's not trying to execute it here on this on the spot. It's basically saying, right, print progress, need to find that. Actually, that's up here. And I'll run this and I'll print, do these two print statements. So when we run this now, 
this should with no errors um, basically run for us and the error will be gone so let's actually just do this here now so wait for five seconds so i think it's about so i'll just run this for a couple of seconds so there you go it's one second one two three four five there's your five so as you can see on the screen down here in the bottom left it's basically keeps on running um it's on the schedule and basically it prints out the print progress so in essence that is pretty much what that error is a uh, basic type error first argument must be callable and just to refresh it's essentially what it's doing is it's basically throwing that error because you're trying to run a method from winning a method so just always be conscious when um you want to run another method that don't try and run it within that actual method just remove the parenthesis and then the actual method will be called in and it'll be executed for you so i hope you liked this video today i hope it gave you a good overview of how to fix this problem we do weekly blog posts video tutorials and live streams and everything in daily linux as i said we expand the channel we have sq stuff in sql we're working on um data visualization tutorials as well with um tableau so please like and subscribe to like and if you're not subscribed subscribe um, to the channel share with any of your colleagues or anybody you think might get use out of this uh, more videos coming soon and thanks for popping by and take care of yourself